Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information, including the 2025 Ford Maverick. Now, I'm not the one that's going to really reveal some of the things that we're going to talk about today. It's actually the Maverick Truck Club. They've been a great source when it comes to the Ford Maverick. Give all credit to them. I know uh, we have a good relationship with each other. They posted some stuff that I've done. Uh, on their channel and uh, so I'm going to give a lot of credit in fact we're going to look at some photos today from something that just came out on Friday I know last week we talked about what can we see what can we possibly see and I told you I don't can't say for sure what's going on or when things are going to happen uh, and I can't I don't think anybody can out there right now if you see somebody that's doing that it's all speculation it's all rumors I'm going to tell you the way it really is uh, right now we don't know we don't know when the order banks are going to open up uh, we don't know exactly what the trim level is going to look like. Order banks and order guides are not going to be available yet. Um, I've been just, again, looking at when we know they're going to start production for 25 model year or when we know they're going to end 24 production, I should say, tells us that probably late July, early August is when we're going to see the order banks open up for the 2025 Ford Maverick. And because of that, um, they're starting to release some stuff. So we are seeing some vehicles uh uh, out there driving around you might ask how are these out there and why would they be putting these out there well you probably a lot of people don't know this but prior to the production of the model year they test out things they test some things uh, and test the production of some some of the vehicles so they actually are making some of the 2025 ford mavericks along with 24 just to kind of get those built and drive a little bit and that kind of stuff to see them in mask and full disclosure like we are right now is a little unusual, um, but man, it's a lot of people are loving this vehicle. And so there's a lot of information out there. So um, again, last week we talked a little bit about, you know, what to expect and some things that we were seeing already. But then right after that, last Friday, they revealed more images and more vehicles driving around. Now we can pretty much tell you how the 20 the, each of the different trim levels what they're going to look like we now can have the the access to all the grills and i do believe those are the grills we're going to be seeing for 25 mile a year so let's get into this uh, i'm going to actually use the pictures from maverick truck club uh give of course i'll do to them down below and go over to their uh to their post the admin over there is great and has been gracious to to get this information out to us and to get us some information about it as well um and let's take a look at it because there's some colors that are that are new as well as some coming back let's let me just get into it <laughs> all right <laughs> all right quit teasing this tim just get into it so here we go here is uh the first image that we want to look at and that is on this the xl this is an xl so steel wheels are still coming back for this year looks like uh, we do have eruption green color that has been very uh, much demanded for it was available in the bronco sport made in the same plant as the maverick but not available on the maverick for 2024 model year a lot of people were upset about that and uh, looks like now we're going to get eruption green maybe uh, so I, again i say maybe uh that is something i think because we're seeing one out there in the green that we will see that uh this year um so you know we have uh we'll kind of talk about the different grill up there uh the the lower fascia which is right underneath the grill um and actually let's get a little bit closer image here uh, we do see there's the grill a little closer image the bumpers seem to be about the same as they were actually redesigned the lower bumpers are a little little bit different cut out i believe uh, right there at the top grill uh, i'm liking this grill for an for a very base model grill i think it looks pretty sharp i'm not sure what the opening is on the lower part of the grill uh, there but all of them all the grills that we're going to look at have that same opening you'll notice the new emblem for the front as well as we'll see the rear in just a little bit is that blue with the white so chrome is going away uh they they kind of launched that new emblem for the f-150 and we're going to see it being uh, kind of come over to all of the trim levels or all the different models i should say uh it looks like the the hood is the same uh somebody did point out you know in this uh, thread you check it out in some of the people's comments uh that you know with that that the way that hood comes down that dome or where it kind of that line goes that it's actually off from the grill which kind of drives them nuts so the grill was different you'll also notice uh that um little piece that wraps down this body colored right underneath the grill and comes into those headlights there uh that that's something that i thought was kind of weird looking and uh it's starting to grow on me a little bit i think it looks better with the black bumper on the front 
than the body color, which we'll take a look at just a little bit as a revisit. Uh, but there we go. Headlights are also new. Uh, I think they posted in there that these were halogen, which would be a downgrade for the Maverick because in the 24 model year, and I believe 22, 23, they were all LEDs, even XL. So if they're halogens, which I'm not real good about telling, um, then that would be a downgrade. And that might be a reason why they're, they're trying to do some things to say, okay, we need to make the XL available, but we need to make a reason for people to go to XLT. That's where we can produce the most vehicles and where probably the margin starts to cut even for them um, is on the, uh, or when they start making money, I should say, is on the XLT trim. So we're going to maybe see them wanting to try to find ways to push people to the XLT trim and uh, LED headlights. Uh, maybe it's a, it's a, it's one of the things I don't think it'd be a deal breaker for me, but there you go. You can actually see a close up now of the steel wheel. So that's going to stay silver painted steel wheel right there. Uh, so there you go. Um, see, I think I have, there's a good side, a better side photo of that steel wheel. And anyway, that's where you can see the fender badge as well. Upper right hand corner there. You can see it says XL in black, which looks similar to the same way it was last year. Now, these redesign years or uh, refresh model years usually happens every three years. Typically, you don't see the fenders and doors redone. Usually, it's where we see a refreshed grill, uh, maybe a refreshed tailgate, something like that. Bumpers will be upgraded. But typically, we don't see the, the fenders and the doors, hoods. We don't usually see that redesigned um yet that'd be a, that but we're gonna see probably at year six or uh after six years so anyway moving on here's to the back of the vehicle uh you know i like the black molded in on the the um the bed rails I had to think of my words there for a second staying there um uh, right there black bumpers in the back this one does um actually you're just seeing displayed the hitch there with the four pin and seven pin wiring which is the F, the 4K tow package, and since it doesn't have a hybrid badging on the back or an all an all wheel drive, I don't know. Maybe they're just missing the badging, you know, at this point, um, because to get the 4K, you had to have oh, all wheel all wheel drive, and they normally would have the all wheel drive uh, badging on the back of it. So the question would be then, can they get to 4K, or are they going to allow for that um, on this? I just think it's missing the badge on the back, but um, also you'll notice. Go back to the side for a second. The vinyl, the the B pillar, the vinyl. So I, I like to call it the Ford Vino guy, but somebody did it before me, so it's not just me. But some they're taking the a lot of people don't realize, but the B pillar there with the doors, that is uh, normally going to be a black vinyl on that. This XL does not have it on there. They did not include it on this one, but we'll see on the XLT and Lariat where they do include it. So. Will they make an option with and without the vinyl? Who knows? We'll have to see. Black mirror caps and black door handles, just like we did see in the XL in the past. All right. Now, I think that's it on that. Uh, eruption green coming. We'll see. All right. Next, I'll move on up to the XLT trim. And I believe this is the black appearance package for the XLT trim. Uh, that should not change what the grill will look like, though, for us. So it gives us a good idea that this is probably what the XLT grill is going to look like for 25 model year. But there are some some notes for this black appearance package um, on this is we got a black painted roof here. So black painted mirror cap. So I assume a, uh, it's an XLT Lux package uh, with that. Uh, and my, I know a 24 model year, they required you to get the Lux package to add the black appearance package, uh, which I don't know if I like that. I don't think it should have to, but there you go. And uh, we may not have an option for that, uh, but that'll get you the black mirror caps, black roof, which we haven't seen since the first edition um, on the 22 was a 22 model year. Uh, so that's something. Also, I think in the... Uh, the thread on this, they said it was hot pepper red, but folks, that to me looks all every bit of rapid red, which is a first edition color and the 2022 model year uh, for first editions. Uh, so rapid red, is it coming back? I believe that's rapid red. Uh, yes, I, I, I believe it is. I don't see any orange tint into this. I believe this is the rapid red and I believe that color is going to be coming back. It looks like for 25 model year. I'll put that room around through event if it doesn't. You'll notice the front emblem up there. Let's get a little bit closer image. You can see I do like this grill. Kind of a V-shaped slats coming in. Again, having an opening underneath. And this time, instead of the blue with the white, you're seeing black with the white on that front emblem. 
again, black appearance package. We'll probably get the black emblems up there. Um, and again, the front fascia looks a lot like it does in the in the XL trim uh, or the front bumpers, I should say, up there. And then that fascia that sits underneath in those headlights look about the same. Uh, I think the headlights look the same as the XL. Um, so I don't know uh, if they're going to be LED or halogen again. You guys can enlighten me on that. Um, moving close to the wheel, you can see that's the black wheel. They've been seeing that driving around in a lot of vehicles. Um, don't know on the exact size on that. Some some people have zoomed in and, and looked at that. I don't know if they're 19s or they're going to be 18s, but probably at least 18s. XLT with the black on the, the, the fender badging there as well on that image. And then they have a back part of that. Again, does have the 4K tow package on the back here does have the four pin and seven pin wiring with the hitch back here in the back again no badging though so we don't know we do have a soft uh tonneau cover on here uh, on this particular truck black door handles uh the molded in black ones and uh, everything else is black too this one does have your mud flaps i will tell you when you go to order 25 i would stay away from any of those accessories like the mud flaps and your tonneau covers if just to kind of speed up production and get your scheduled first um, they can build those, but at a certain quantity. So I would just a quick tip there, try to go without that. Um, so there you go. We do have the vinyl on the pillar right here as well on this particular one. So there you go. All right, moving on. There's the Lariat trim. So there we go. What do you think about that? So seeing a little more silver and a little more, um, you know, a machine finish on those wheels. It looks, I I believe this is a new wheel for this year. I know the article, that's what they said. Um, so it looks like a new wheel. I think that's a 19 inch wheel there in the image. Uh, the bumper looks a little bit different. Uh, does have signature lighting on it as well. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. You can see there's the front fascia. So we're seeing some silver on that lower bumper right there. We're also seeing front sensors on there too. So we got front sensing system on this and 360 degree camera. There's a camera underneath that emblem. Again, blue with the white. On that emblem, signature lighting that goes around the outside of those headlights. Um, looks like those, I assume, would be LEDs. Uh, so they look maybe a little different than the others. Um, the grill, what do you think on the grill? I actually almost think it looks like the XL grill. Might be wrong, but there you go. I don't know. Anyway, uh, silver accent on that bumper looking pretty good there. And on this one with the black, it kind of blends in and doesn't, the front fascia thing doesn't bother me so much. But again, sometimes it just depends on the color. Uh, going over to the wheel, there's a good look at the wheel. So we do have that that nice wheel machine and black uh, wheel. It looks like I think that's a new design for this year. Um, and Lariat trim fender badge as well. We see body color door handles or body color mirror caps there on this particular vehicle that are painted and uh, 360 camera underneath those side mirrors as well. Um, now, they, yeah, they only gave us the one those couple images, no back image of that one. So there you go. But one of the things to note on this too is you see it does have the production stickers on the side. So that that driver's side back window, you see those those um, stickers on there. And that's got a vent on it. That is a true production vehicle. That's got a vent on it. That'll probably end up with media. So media will probably be driving this and be and to have that out or some Ford reps or somebody. Uh, I believe that's a production vehicle. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, so that one has it. And the stickers are usually on those. The other ones did not have that, as you noticed on those. So there we go. <clears throat> but and then um, also, uh, what did I, mean? I wanted to mention? Yeah, signature lighting, the the accent on the Lariat, and new wheels, front sensing, and 360K camera. So there you go. Now going back, we have actually talked about this last week. This uh, the I believe it's going to be the ST or Lobo. I believe it won't be its own trim, but it'll be a package like the black appearance pockets on that XLT. Now, the question is, will you have to go up to Lariat trim to get this, uh, this lowered one here? Uh, I don't know, but I believe it will be a package with a special grill. You'll notice the black and white emblem up here. Signature lighting on this Lariat. So hopefully it'll be available on XLT or Lariat trim. Uh, for those that, you know, that want that nice sport look, but don't want to go up to Lariat trim pricing. Uh, hopefully they do make it available. Body colored door or mirror caps um, and then black uh, roof up there. So we'll see if that continues. And then keep getting your body colored accents on the lower coat with the fog lights. So uh, hopefully we go FX4 package. We see the fog lights as well for this model year. And then the special wheels that are on this one as well. You can see those there. 
um, which look a lot like what my Mach-E GT rally wheels will look like, but in carbonized gray. Uh, or maybe those are a gloss black. Anyway, uh, then uh, body colored uh, lower rocker molding and lower rear bumpers with a rear sensing. Also, your bed rail are also body colored too for that. So there we go. Uh, so there's some of that. So again, I just wanted to kind of throw this out here. Maverick Mondays are really just kind of fun videos. Uh, and I know we just covered some, hey, what could it possibly look like for 25? But now we had even more images. So I think we now can actually take a look at and say, here's what an XL, XLT Lariat's going to look like. Um, and where are you going to get that? You know, or is that something you want? Uh, figure that out. So I do think that they'll make a way and make a reason why people need to go up from XL to XLT. So just be ready for that. If you're one of those out there, you're wanting that XL. Um, and, you know, I know right now XL comes with the cruise come and you can get as optional. Uh, the Copilot 360 assist with the lane keeping and the bliss. Um, you know, they got to do something to make people want to go up to XLT. So I would not put it past them to not make those features available in 25. Not saying they will. And I haven't heard anything. I'm just saying I know that they are frustrated that people, they're getting so many orders on the XL they can't produce, uh, but they they readily have made all the XLTs. And so they really want to get people to go over to XLT. So I think they're going to find ways to get you to step up to that XLT trim. So we'll find out real soon, hopefully, what that looks like. And I need your help. I need some more Maverick Monday videos. Give me some topics that you want to, to hear me talk about. Um, drop them down in the comments. And we'll get those out for the next couple of weeks until we get the actual order guides available for the 25 model year Maverick or something else gets disclosed to us, right? Without that being coming out. Uh, so just keep your, uh, keep checking out Maverick truck club. Again, I want to give shout out to them and give them a lot of kudos here because I, you know, I did not take their, uh, their, uh, that logo off the images because I want to give all credit to them. Uh, then they posted this out there and that's where I found this. So check out the link. I'll have that article linked down below. Uh, if you want to check out the article and there's a lot of people commenting in there, get in the discussion. What do you think? Drop it down in the comments of this, this video as well. And hope you enjoyed this week's Maverick Monday and you have a far fabulous, fabulous. I just made a new word. Fabulous Maverick Monday yourself. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in the next video.